Hello everyone, Super Twonky here, and today I'm playing Vampire Survivors, an early access game on Steam where you fight hordes of enemies and level up various weapons and passive abilities, and the best $3 I've ever spent. Each character in this game has a different unique perk, and today I want to give a Mortachio a try, since his perk uh, gets you three extra projectiles as he levels up, and that seems pretty nutty. The main downside to him is that he starts off with the bone as a weapon, which I don't believe is very good. As you play this game, you earn gold, which you can spend on upgrades, and I've been playing it quite a bit this last week, so I do have several upgrades unlocked. The most important one being extra projectiles, because that's going to be the whole point of this build. So let's get into it. We're going to be playing on hyper mode in the inlaid library. Okay, right off the bat, we've got a creeper coming at us, and we can grab that gem to level up. And I've got a plan, because this guy's all about extra projectiles, I want to make sure I'm choosing weapons that that will benefit. So the garlic and the clock lens set, while they're good on other kinds of builds, they do not benefit at all from having extra projectiles, so we're going to have to go with the cross. And so yeah, I'm just moving around, and the uh, the cross and the bones are going to be kind of firing on their own. And just trying to strength around enemies here. And the axe is on my short list. I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock the axe just to make sure I have it on this build. Because I don't want to accidentally get locked out of it. And yeah, as enemies die, they drop those gems, and those gems give you experience. And we're going to definitely want the Candle Labrador, because we have to have that in order to upgrade the axe to its final form. So yeah, the axe fires kind of upward in arc. The bones, it looks like the bones just kind of bounce off enemies in a straight line. And then the crosses are kind of like boomerangs. So I don't think we want any of those, let's just upgrade the axe. So now the axe is firing an extra projectile, we've got three of them at a time. So one thing we're going to want to do, um, yeah I think I want to go to spinach, more damage is good. So we're going to want to make our way over to the left because there is a free passive item over there. But I'm going to want to wait to get it until I have all my passive item slots full. If you look in the upper left hand side of the screen, those are my weapon and item slots. And there's a maximum of six each that you can unlock. But if you're already, already at six and you find an item on the map, then it gets unlocked as a seventh item. So in this case we're going to go with the clover for more luck. The clover is needed to upgrade the cross to its final form, and that's something we are definitely going to want to do. Alright, another level up. Let's do... Let's keep going with the axe. More base damage on the axe seems good. Getting hit a little bit here. And still trying to kind of run circles around these guys, but still making my way over to the left side of the screen, because that's where the uh, the tome is going to be that we want to get. And what do I want to get here? I think maybe I just upgrade Clover. Luck is good to get early on. Oof. Taking some hits, I probably shouldn't be. sneak through these guys, kind of. Yeah, the, the, tr the problem I usually have with getting over to the left is that more enemies seem to come from the right on this map. Uh, let's go with the cross. So, and you want to be killing enemies to level up, so it's 
Yeah, you're kind of at odds between wanting to find the item and also wanting to kill as many enemies as possible, because the map tends to try to steer you more to the right side, naturally. Come on, axes. Oof. Alright. Let's try to kill as many of these guys as we can. Ooh, here we go. This is a key item we need to get duplicator, so we're going to get one more projectile. So between that and the upgrade that I spent gold on, we've got two extra projectiles now. And we'll be getting one more projectile when I get to level 20. Here we go. Uh, let's get more crosses. And... Let me just go ahead and grab... Okay, um... Let's see. For the passives, I know I need... Let's see. Clover, Candelabra... Spinach, Duplicator. I'm trying to think of what else I want. Because a tractor might be okay. I'm not going Whip or Garlic, so I don't need either of the hearts. Um... Which would leave the crown... And the one that works with the King Bible, that gives you a, like extra area effect. Yeah, so I'm not sold on getting the Attract Orb, so I think I'm just going to go with the Bone here. Just, just level up what I have. When in doubt, that's always a good option. Because I'm thinking the Crown might end up being better than the, than the Attract Orb. And in this case, we'll get the Axe. And we've got a chest that dropped because we had a little mini boss there that we just defeated. So let's go ahead and grab that. And the chest will always level up one of the items you currently have. So here we got our Candelabrador upgraded to level 2. So now we have our area attack doing uh, covering more ground. Uh, yeah, X. Didn't really want either of those other two. Okay. I think here I want to go with the cross. More projectiles. Only four more levels until I get the first additional projectile from the skeleton here. Oh, and here they're forcing me into another into a new item. So yeah, I'll go with crown. More XP. It seems good, especially since the whole goal of this character is to get to level 60 as quickly as possible for those additional projectiles. Here we go. Let's upgrade Clover. Get luckier. Luck increases your critical hit chance, and it also increases your chance of finding items as well as getting a choice between four items instead of three when you level up. Um... Hmm. I know I want Lightning Ring on this run, but I feel like leveling up Axe is better. If we can get Axe evolved as early as possible, that's going to be great. But Lightning, Ring's, Lightning Ring is definitely something that I want to get. Alright, level 20. Here we go. Um, I guess we'll level up the bone. And now we should have an additional projectile. So yeah, I'm firing a bunch of axes into the air. <laughs> so certain weapons in this game can evolve, but the only way to evolve them is by opening a treasure chest while you have the appropriate passive item that goes along with it. And while the item is max level. So, yeah, we'll go with Clover. So in this case, if I look at the right, my axe needs two more levels before it's maxed. And it requires the Conda Labrador, which we already have. So, it might be a good idea to wait until I've leveled up the axe two more times and then grab the chest. So it's guaranteed, or not guaranteed, but um, more likely to evolve as opposed to leveling up another item that 
we would just end up leveling up anyway. Um, here we go, axe level 7. And I'm gonna continue going this way so I can see if I can locate the tome that I'm looking for. Avoid the explodey ghost. Yeah, the tome is always gonna be in the upper left side, and it can appear on one of these by one of these tables here. So that one didn't have it. We'll just keep going. I should probably try to kill some enemies on the way. It's kind of lame that hardly any are spawning. Here we go. Hey, we got a clover on the ground. I think that upgrades your luck. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, that would make the most sense. Alright, no tome there. Though we still need to get at least one more level up so we max out our items first. And... Oh, what do I want here? King Bible could be good? I'm trying to think of what items I really want. I want the lightning ring, because I want to give I think that'll be a lot of fun with this build. So I definitely want the lightning ring, and I kinda want Santa Water as well. And then other than that, what else would benefit from the extra projectiles? I think other than that, it would either be between King Bible and the Fire Wand. Maybe I'll just upgrade Bone since I'm not sure. Because if I get King Bible, that means I have to find the passive item for it as well. Oh, here we go. We got a magnet. I'll uh, pull in all the orbs I've missed, which actually doesn't seem to be that many. Uh, duplicator. It's gotta be duplicator. And level up. Oh, there's the lightning ring. I think I'm just gonna go for it. And uh, yeah, let's get the crown upgraded for more XP. And we've got lots of projectiles flying everywhere. Need to be paying attention to the top part of the screen in case we find the tome. Oh boy, more enemies spawning now. This could get a little rough. Seem to be doing okay. Uh, I want to keep upgrading the ring. more XP. Might as well get it early, as early as I can. And, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Spellbinder. And that way I can grab the Tome, and then I can... I think I'll try getting the, uh, the King Bible. Since that works with the Spellbinder. And hopefully this build works! Uh, there's the King Bible, let's just go ahead and grab it. And King Bible seems great with extra projectiles, so... Might as well. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the Bible spinning around me. So we've got the crosses doing their boomerang thing, we're tossing bones at enemies that are kind of ricocheting between them. We've got five King Bibles spinning around us. Uh, let's go with Bone. And I'm throwing axes in the air as well. And then we've got random lightning strikes from our lightning ring. So hopefully we can find that tome soon for the seventh item. Not there. Long tome. Give me a solid. I've got two chests waiting for me way over to the right too, but... I'll go back and grab them after I get the tome. There it is! Alright, let's get it. And then head back to the right. Get the tome. 
Yeah, the tome gives you a uh, faster cooldown between your attacks, so very strong pretty much with all the weapons I have. Uh, yeah, let's keep upgrading the lightning ring. Alright, taking some damage here. Try to navigate these nasty guys. Oh, orb. More XP. And then for the final item, do I want to try Santa Water? It's between Santa Water or holding out for the Fire Wand. Maybe I'll just get Bone for now. There we go. Uh, let's upgrade the spinach. More base damage. And upgrade the cross. And there's the fire wand. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's get the fire wand. Build is... Build is ready to go. Oh, I should have gotten the crown there for more XP. Oh well. Uh, let's keep upgrading the cross. Wow, lots of level ups here. Uh, let's get lucky. Clover is maxed out for maximum luck. Alright, well there's one chest. I don't know how much XP that orb is going to give me. Because I had just found one. Let's get it. And we got the Candelabra door upgraded again. I think we need one more level for the axe before it's ready to evolve. And I'm level 40, so I've got another extra projectile now. So things are going to start getting a little bit more ridiculous here. But the end game, they throw like tons of stuff at you in the end game, so... I'm not completely confident that this build is going to actually win, even though it looks it looks pretty insane right now. Alright, well there's another chest. Here we go. I didn't get the axe upgrade. Let's just go with the crown. More experience. So yeah, the, um, the healing items on the ground are called floor chicken, which I think is fantastic. Let's see... Still... Um, let's just max out crown. And I'll just go ahead and grab this. And we got spinach upgraded. For 10% more damage. Yeah, the color of the orbs... Let's see. Oh, here we go. X level 8. Nice. So the color of the orbs that you pick up determine how much XP, so the red orbs are worth the most. Like, it just went straight up <laughs> to the next level. Uh, let's get cross. Almost, that's almost maxed out now. And... Alright, we have the upgraded axe. The death spiral. This thing's crazy. We now throw the sides just in a spiral. Cool. Cross is ready to go. Let's get those other chests. And let's start working on King Bible. There we go. We should upgrade the cross, I think. No, it upgraded the wand. The fire wand. Oh. Um. Spellbinder, I guess? And we have a bunch more enemies showing up, but they're not much match for me right now. Let's see. I guess we'll go with the fire wand. Nice, we have we gotta freeze the power up. Let's 
so now we can just smash through all these enemies while they're frozen. And let's do a lightning ring. From here, I guess we'll keep going with the fire one, probably. Huh, my chest must have dropped over here, or did I pass it up? Okay, I've got Medusa showing up here. Did I just ignore this chest from before? Not sure if I meant to. If I did. Yeah, it's like way over here. Fire wand. Grab the chest. And we got the Heaven Sword, which is the upgrade for the cross. And it is amazing. So now we've, instead of the crosses, we've got all these swords flying around. Yeah, okay, fire one's almost there, so we'll keep leveling that up. And more lightning ring. More fire wand. Lightning ring. I think Bible. Oh man. So many upgrades at once. Uh, in Bible. Let's max out the lightning ring. And just like that, we are level 62, so we've got another projectile. So between the duplicator ring, the upgrade I spent gold on, and the passive for the skeleton, I've got six extra projectiles, I think? Kinda ridiculous. And there's the upgraded fire wand. Oh yeah. It's all coming together. And... Let's do spinach. More damage is always good. And let's get King Bible upgraded as well. I think that's the last thing we need to evolve. And now we're heading over to kind of the top right because there is another kind of free item I can get over here somewhere. If it'll show up. And I think I'll wait on that chest there until we've got the Bible up to level 8. Although it looks like I have two chests now. So maybe we can just do it now. Where does this other chest come from? Is this another one I just ignored, or did it somehow spawn way over here? It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, more spinach. And now oh, we got the spellbinder upgraded, which doesn't really do a whole lot for this build. The only thing it's really being useful for is making it so we can upgrade the King Bible. Because I don't really have any other weapons that have a duration that can be increased. Empty tone. Let's get even less cooldown, and uh, hopefully this upgrades the Bible? Nope. It upgraded the bone, of all things. Yeah, nothing's, <laughs> nothing's able to get close to me now. But I have a feeling that's going to change at some point, unless this build is actually just insane, and all the extra projectiles can't be uh, fought through by the enemies. I mean, the build's almost complete, and I still have over 10 minutes to go. I guess we'll just max out Bone. While I keep looking for the next item. 
It's like um, a mask of some sort. Hey, another chest dropped at some point that I didn't see. And there it is, the Unholy Vespers, which is the upgraded version of the King Bible. So, yeah, we have all of our weapons evolved now. So I just have a few passive items to upgrade, I think. Yeah, six, six extra King Bibles is pretty nuts. See, or it's Unholy Vespers, I guess they're called now. Uh, cool down. Alright, we have a few new enemies spawning here, it looks like. But they still don't seem to be much of a match for me. Hey, I can see the mask up in the top left. Let's go ahead and max out the empty tome. And let's grab this thing, because we can. It'll just give me more gold coins. So yeah, now I just be pretty much have to live. It'd be probably best if I find some... Uh, candles. Um, yeah, let's get more gold. Because... If you destroy candles, I guess the, the candelabras on the ground, then they can drop items like that coin and that floor chicken were both from a candle. That floor chicken as well. And they can respawn too, so I'd really like to find a magnet just so I could pick up all of these gems I've been leaving behind. Let's do... I guess we'll max out the candelabra door. Oh, almost ran right into a boss. And he's dead. <laughs> Upgraded the stone mask, we're getting more gold. More gold. And yeah, I think now we're just kind of chilling until the end. I can maybe even just stand still. So I do want to find some uh, candelabras too to destroy in case I can find an orb or some other power-ups. Oh, here we go. Just what I'm looking for. Alright, we've got everything maxed out. And now when we level up we just get a choice of either a floor chicken or a coin bag, so I'm gonna grab all the coins. And yeah, this is a pretty nuts. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, there we go. We've got a combat power-up down there. I think that's the freezing one, which could come in handy, so I might just kind of stick around here so I can use that in an emergency. But, um... Yeah, this build's pretty ridiculous, at least here at this phase of the game. Huh, I must have accidentally popped a Fermi's item, so let's just run through all these guys. There's a why not. Alright, chest is just gonna give me gold at this point. And not much is getting close to me. And skipping ahead a little bit, we've got some more witches coming after me, but so far, nothing really to worry about. Well, it looks like I killed an elite enemy without even realizing it. Yeah, this is just kind of... <laughs> Still absurd. We do have a boss showing up here soon. There's a, a boss that'll show up at 25 minutes, so we'll see uh we'll see how I handle him. And he should be showing up any minute. There are the bats signifying his arrival. And there he is. So we don't get any knockback against him. 
so I do have to be careful to make sure he doesn't hurt me. And enemies are getting a bit close now. Whoop, and he's dead, and I accidentally used the freezeway, so let's just barge through all these guys and take them down while they're frozen. Very nice. Whoa, skeleton got close to me. All right, floating, floating skull. Looks like another freeze for me spawned in right there, so that's gonna be nice to have. And yeah, we're getting stronger and stronger enemies showing up. They're getting a little, a little bit close. Here, in the, entering my personal space. Ooh, I got three bags of gold. And now we're on to the uh, Medusa phase, where a bunch of Medusas are showing up. Okay, they're closing a little bit. We got three minutes left. We have to survive for three more minutes. I wonder if I just stand still. Yeah, maybe maybe standing still is the right play. The King Bibles will just keep everything away. Alright, two more minutes left. We're gonna see things get even more crazy. So far we're still keeping everything at bay, although every once in a while something sneaks in. Sneaks into my bubble. Hey. No, get out. Get away. Yeah, they're getting closer. I do have that power up down below still. So... I guess maybe doing smaller circles might help to try to expand the safe zone here. One minute left. Let's go. Okay, I think the enemies have powered up a little bit here. Uh, I'm gonna try to hold off for as long as I can without getting the power up. But it's looking a little dicey. seconds. I think we got this. And we're still mostly keeping them at bay. Like, all these all these stacked up projectiles are still doing work. 15 seconds. Do I pop the thing yet? Eh, just to be safe, let's do it. Freeze everything. Oh, and we're gonna pull in a bunch of co uh, a bunch of orbs too. Holy crap! So many level ups. Well, that was absurd. And death got me. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that build is pretty nuts. Level 146. I don't think I've ever gotten that high in this game. So that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Skeleton is awesome. Uh, let's see what the stats are. You know what? Bone? Bone ended up getting for 2.5 million overall. That's better than I was expecting. Hellfire ended up doing the best, which was kind of the last choice I made for a weapon, so that's kind of interesting. But overall, pretty even split among all the weapons I chose to use. And uh, yeah, all of them benefiting greatly from the six extra projectiles. Yeah, this is, this is uh, Vampire Survivors, a super fun game. I know this is a bit different than what I normally do, but I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.